Hey, Collada fans. Well, if you're a Deadwood fan as well, this is your day. A new film is coming. We're going to talk about that next. Dennis Zhang, this was announced again. You know, we just talked about Game of Thrones. This was announced by HBO president Casey Bloys at the TCA again. He said he was excited that they're going, that they are officially greenlighting a Deadwood movie. Both you and I are fans of this series. It lasted three seasons. A lot of great actors went through this thing. Timothy Oliphant, uh, uh, Ian McShane, we even Kristen Bell had a small part in that <laughs> yes, first season that. Uh, before she ran off to do Veronica Mars. Kim Dickens, all these actors who've branched out to do other things. John Hawks, now, and Paula Malcolmson off Ray Donovan. So this is a very revered series for those of us who love this series, but it ended in 2004. So we're talking 14 years later, we're going to start shooting a movie. What are your initial reactions to this? It's finally happening because <laughs> we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. Anyone who's watched uh, Deadwood and is a big fan knows that it ended kind of on a cliffhanger. Like right. all these pieces were moving together and there's going to be this big climax. Uh, David Milch said that he was going to do uh, two movies yes. actually uh, for HBO right. to, to kind of conclude the whole thing. That never happened because I mean, at the time, this was before what they're you know right now they're calling like peak TV. This was kind of more the like the golden age when Sopranos and The Wire yeah. and Deadwood were on air, and and so we thought they were coming, and then after a while, it was like I kind of gave up hope, right? Because yeah, it's like the actors went off and did their own yeah. things, yeah. you know, even stuff like Entourage had their own movie, didn't do very well right. at the theater. Uh, Sex this, City Two didn't do well. Yeah, yeah. so. I'm surprised, but also excited because it's actually happening. They're shooting in October. Yeah, and and uh, Casey Bloys is saying that he's looking, he's eyeing a spring 2019 release, which is interesting to me because he also said the Game of Thrones is going to come back with its final season in the first half of 2019. So, uh, are we talking like this is interesting scheduling because like you want to promote the movie coming out, you want to give it a little bit of time before the Game of Thrones audiences uh, get to see their final season and then do Deadwood, do do Deadwood movie first, mm -hmm. then let it breathe for about a month and then drop start dropping the Game of Thrones uh, episodes. This is an interesting conundrum they have to to really front load their first half of 2019, don't you? Thing. Yeah, and also just a sp speculation of when is this going to take place because right. it's been so long. Initially, right when they were going to do the movies, it was just going to take place right after season three. Yeah, I don't think that can happen anymore. Because, no, no, right, but but you know, but they're talking about bringing back the same characters. Yes. I don't know what we're going to do with Powers Booth's character of Cy Tolliver. Are they going to recast that, have someone else play him, right. or they're just going to write that character out of this because it takes place? You know, I, I don't think they can do 14 years later, right? right like, in, right. and like, and uh, uh, Bullock and, and Omar are married, and you know, yeah. I mean? like, I, I think they're gonna have to find some sort of middle ground, maybe like six years later, right. eight years later, or something like that, and you know, try and age them. Carolyn Woolgarden is a new character that we're going to get. She's a full-figured 15-year-old uh, girl. She moves to Deadwood and uh, starts uh, uh, getting involved with the brothel, gets more than she bargained for. Uh, Meng Yao is uh, Mr. Wu's 12-year-old hmm. grandson. He's going to be involved in this somehow. And we're going to get an assistant for Jeffrey Jones's character. Uh, I think Roland is the name. Merrick's jug-eared, allergy-ridden assistant. And we know that Jeffrey Jones got involved with some stuff off camera the, the best left unsaid mm -hmm. so i can't imagine his coming he's coming back so yeah is the possibility that Kristen bell coming on to this maybe to replace uh powers booth's character oh no but she was killed off wasn't hey. she so i guess she wouldn't come back but uh there's i'm sure there's a lot of things to explore and these actors uh are interesting actors so to put them together will be interesting one of the things they talked about was al swearingen uh, a plague outbreak with saloon kingpin al swearingen fleeing on a barge down the river uh so that was or a huge fire in the town. All of this is what Milch hinted at mm -hmm. years ago. So you're right. Like uh, this is going to be interesting. Because 14 years later, it shows on your age, yeah. you know. And uh, but uh, pretty much from the cast list that we have, every single character is coming back. Uh, Doherty, Mr. Wu, Calamity uh, Jane, Calamity Jane. Yeah, all of them are coming back. So uh, I wonder if, uh, what they're going to do with this movie and with how they're going to set everything. Yeah, I think that's the, the most interesting part. Mm -hmm. When is it going to be, and then what the story line is because if you're talking about him going on a barge and the, the yeah. town being on fire i'm like no no, no. i mean deadwood was about that town about right? the town right because exactly. in the first season it you know it, it they're just starting mm -hmm. the foundation mm -hmm. and then it, through the seasons they've been building 
outwards and kind of growing the town and with that comes headaches and yeah. trying to they first come and go oh there's no law there's no rule of law here mm -hmm. that's great everything's you know and then they realize okay we actually have to abide by these things yeah yeah so well it'll be interesting how they put this all together and how the movie comes out both of us as fans of deadwood are looking forward to this and the historical aspects will be great to see what characters come in uh in this movie uh what do you all think are you excited do you think it's too late or does or has there been enough time where you can like think it's too late then come back and think it's right on time 14 years later let us know in the comments section below remember to like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to collider for more news videos just like this